So I had until we are it's oh no uh, some things again has to be repaired this time our play Nicolas it looks life of cruising <laughs> It's exciting isn't it You you leave it there and there's a so, there's yeah, our nucleus. We shit overboard. <laughs> Looks good. This is where the shit hits the fan. What are you doing now? Uh, the toilet Take. doesn't flush anymore after you use it. <laughs> so uh, you I'll used it before me. Open the pump and see what kind of treasure is in it before us. <laughs> Maybe it's a diamond. <laughs> so here we are in Tenere and welcome our new crew. Hello, Hello. Emily and Ram. How are you guys? Fine, thank you. Good journey. Yeah. Oh, I like your accent. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So you're tired now? A little bit. A little bit. Early start this morning. Early start this morning. Well, it's, a fir it's your first day, so we take it easy. Tomorrow, yeah. we start. <laughs> we prepared for the future. Yeah. No, actually, we have to stay till the play is repaired. But, uh, yeah. we'll Hello, Bob. <laughs> How's it going? Very well. Very well. What's happening? <laughs> we have to see. <laughs> you look a little bit wet. Very, very wet. Greetings from La Gomera, Canary Islands. Unfortunately, we have some really sad and bad news. Uh, the White Walrus uh, has crashed into a cliff last Saturday and uh, it's not there anymore. Everything is gone that we have. beautiful life that we created uh, yeah. it crashed literally into the cliffs um, and we are very sad and uh, yeah we'd like to share a little bit what happened um, we were sailing from uh, Tenerife to uh, Gomera it was an active day of sailing strong wind Five, six, seven, and um, 
at the end of the day we want to see if we, uh, yeah, where we could stay in uh, La Gomera. Somebody recommended us a beautiful place, um, Pearl, the Pearl of the island. So we arrived at 7.30 and we thought, okay, let's take a look, see if indeed it's so beautiful. And, uh, yeah, it was just after sun, uh, sunset and uh, it was my mistake that, uh, that we still went there. We shouldn't have done that. No anchoring in dark, um, but we did it anyway. And uh, while looking for the for a good spot, uh, probably uh, a wave or the or a gust of wind pushed us uh, towards the cliffs, and uh, it was very hard to uh, to judge the the distance to the cliff. And uh, our boat hit the rock. And uh, actually, immediately after that, we got stuck with the boat. It was swinging a little bit from left to right, still but I, really yeah. stuck. Couldn't get away anymore. Uh, yeah, I went there yesterday with divers and snorkel. Then I saw that it was a um, it was a big um, big stone in form of a U. And then we entered actually exactly like this, which might even been our luck because otherwise we would have smashed against the I don't know 30 meter high wall stone wall and uh, yeah we, we couldn't move anymore and suddenly the water started to come into the boat I was downstairs with Samuel where while Nico with Bram and Emily were upstairs with our new crew so uh, as soon as uh, we, we noticed that we were stuck I uh, gave out an uh, emergency signal to the Coast Guard and uh, they prepared the rescue operation. It took them about 40 minutes to come to us. In the, in the meantime, uh, I stayed downstairs and tried to uh, get some important and uh, Our documents emotional and, uh, stuff. Some stuff for Samuel, food and clothes. And Hard disk, I pulled. Uh, but then the water came faster at the end it was like half meter already and um, so we decided to S stay to on the deck stay on the deck until they came and they when they came they could not even approach our boat they we had to inflate our our life raft uh, life raft and uh, they pulled our life raft to them and um, Samuel was very brave yes I was the whole time with him and tried to give him the feeling that everything is good and it's a game um, and he did not even cry so uh, so the, the good news is that we are all very healthy still and okay. we, uh, the operation went well and we're safe and uh, we got safe to uh, San Sebastian which is the capital of La Gomera. Bram and Emily our crew are also safe and uh, and yeah, the next day when we went to save Valley, there was no Valley anymore. Um, it was all crashed and smashed from the rocks that bad that actually we saw just a river full of um, little pieces, wood pieces. Though yeah. now, if yesterday when I was with the divers, we were looking for the wreck and the engine and anchor and nothing was there. And now we went to the police and he said that he heard that um, next to where it happened there is a little harbor people went the next day there and took everything we don't know if it's true we will go tomorrow to Santiago to, to talk to the police there I could rescue yesterday some clothes and uh, a little dog for Samuel and see if we can take up get rid of the diesel smell and uh, yeah, probably uh, uh, the boat got stuck at low water. And probably overnight uh, the tide came and the boat got loose again. And then uh, it had all the whole night to uh, to be smashed against the rocks. And it's yeah, it's really strange how such a strong, big, heavy boat can just be smashed to tiny bits and pieces. We yeah. in twelve hours. And. Uh, yeah, now we are uh, oh, yeah, starting to overcome the shock a little bit. We, 
we rent an apartment in uh, in Langomera, so we have a little place for ourselves again. And uh, the people here are very kind. They uh, they gave us clothes. They gave us a buggy for Samuel. Uh, wow. Some toys. So everybody is really helpful and understanding. Uh, also the people at home, we, uh, we received tons of warm messages and, and everybody is having trouble to sleep, just like us. And, um, yeah, we are sorry. We are sorry for the coming crew. We are sorry for Valley. We are sorry for... Uh, and Emily and for for Samuel uh, it was too good to be true it all went yeah. so perfect it was all so good and we we even managed to repair the, the closet the toilet the toilet <laughs> and everything went so well also the day even we had a really strong wind Valley say, sailed so good and yeah Ray had the best day of her life on the yeah. So, um, so we have a lot of a lot of good memories to tre treasure. The, the three months so far has been rough been, but beautiful. Yeah, and, and the times we shared with everybody and the things we experienced were already very beautiful and something that we will never forget. Um, yeah, we are, it's first, it's too early. Three months or not three years. Yeah. It's and uh, it's pity that we could not share it with everybody. Yeah, yeah. We, have, we have to go home, so uh, now we... We are staying here for the winter, we, yeah. won't, we won't come to the Netherlands too cold and too fast and we want to be together, Yeah. so we will stay here till we know what we want to do. Yeah. And, uh, if you want to come to visit us while we are here, yeah. you're more than welcome. We will try to arrange a house uh, with a guest room and... Um, yeah. warm apparently here it's, or it's very nice here people are very nice and it's good hiking and a cheap flight over here so yeah. please come and uh, come warm our hearts and, and maybe you can also send some pictures from you and from you yeah. guys we yeah. saved two yesterday I found two on the ground but um, yeah and uh, yes yeah maybe we uh, maybe we find a new boat and uh, the journey can go on. <laughs> we, we do really miss the life on water. We, we, we uh, have had just begun to get used to it. And it was and, uh, beautiful. It was. We like to be outside, we like to be together. Yeah. Uh, we like to work with our hands and, uh, and feel the nature. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just. Uh, it's tough, but we are we are together. We keep keep focusing on that. That we're all healthy. We could give up on us. We lost one of us. And um, and we it's will. Part of the adventure. We wanted adventure. Yeah. We got it. <laughs> exactly. Unfortunately, a little bit too much. It would have been nicer if it would have been I don't know, just the engine broken or something. But not like in 12 hours the whole boat, the whole home. It's like whoosh, nothing. But. Um, yeah, we learned our lesson. Yeah. yeah. And now we take it very slow. We yeah. One step at a time, no rushing. No. We no. Just, yeah, mucho, mucho tranquilo. Everybody, <laughs> thanks again for all your support. And sorry for Sebastian, Nadine, your parents, Ave. We hope so much that there will be a second chance that we can share the dream with you because yeah it was beautiful it was yeah great it still is beautiful yeah. Yeah. we are in a really be beautiful place it could have been definitely worse yeah. imagine getting stuck in England <laughs>